Hello, I am Mal, and welcome back to Wasteland 2 Director's Cut. Now, I did go back into Darwin Village uh, underneath where uh, the mutants were to access that safe. And let me show you that. So here's uh, me accessing that safe, and the password for that, I'll put it up on the screen here, but it's uh, 235... Five six six two, I believe. Yep. Um, and then I also um, undid a chest, which had uh, a little bit of a rough side effect in the fact that Bear almost blew himself up doing it. Uh, but we got that open. Um, and then there was that one last uh, safe. I used alarm disarm on that, and I got that loot as well. Now on the way back to the Ranger Citadel, I got in a couple of random fights. Um, and I, I just went ahead and, and did them so that I would get enough experience to have everyone, except for Piz, uh, promotable. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to talk to Vargas and get some promotions. The no good going job into the radiation the level is dangerous. It's the doing day-to-day -day stuff service. like this that secures the reputation of the Desert Rangers but for the all minds of the people. Keep for up the good new work. discovery helps us win back some of the world that we lost. Okay, guys, you're talking over each other. Shush it. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Good job at the level up. Okay, alright, got it. Secures for reputation. Yep, yep, yep. Um... Look, we had a look around Darwin Village after we found the robot. It's deserted, sir. Uninhabitable. We went to Darwin, sir. It's still a village. Colony of intelligent mutants. Nope, 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 nope. We're gonna say this. I figured as much. Thank you, Rangers. Now let's go ahead and report in. Echo One, your team. Congratulations, Echo One. You've made us proud. I heard recruits. what you said, Echo One. I appreciate you keeping Darwin's secret. Yeah, maybe not so loud with that in front of the general. There is just a, just a thought. Okay, now that um, uh, that robot synth or whatever obviously was continuing this tracking down of the old Rangers and trying to kill them. We found this blacklist. And, uh, let's see, the names Ace and Hellraiser have been crossed off the list. So, you know, Vargas is on that list, um, and others, we can assume. Let's see, what else we got? Oh, right, this Wasteland disc. Let's go... Uh, where is he? He, like, museum curator guy is who we need to talk to. Back over... up here. No, 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 no. That's Jackson. We don't need Jackson. Back up here. Do, do, do. Right, Flintlock. Come here, Flintlock. Found this box with floppy disks. This is Wasteland on the front. Yeah, what do we have there? Very strange. Another Ranger team found an item very similar with the image on it long ago. Uh, let's see. Some kind of badge or pen said, Member Wasteland Fan Club. Sure, you can have the discs. Okay, goodbye. And let's see. Plus one kiss ass. Alright, well. Comes in handy. Okay, let's see. Switch to leadership. And we have the cure for cancer, so let's go talk to the doc. There you go, dude. Uh, yeah, place was uninhabitable. Well, at least you got one good thing out of it. Yep. I heard what you said, Echo One. I appreciate you keeping Darwin's secret. Are you trying to let him know? Piz? Seriously, shush. Found something, the only problem is it doesn't make any sense. There are only two places where these names exist in geographical area. One is in Arizona. Uh, the other is a group named in the transmissions. The other's well in Los Angeles and can't be right either. Los Angeles doesn't exist. It got blown up. 
Are you sure Los Angeles doesn't exist? Well, I'm not sure about anything anymore, but it's unlikely. Uh, you were about, uh, yeah, you were right about Darwin. It's completely uninhabited. I'll, thanks, I'll note that on my maps. Okay. I heard Good deal. what you said, Echo One. I appreciate you keeping Darwin's secret. Yes, I appreciate the fact that you appreciate it. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, having said that, uh, you're actually going to leave the group now for a little while, Piz. Yep, because I don't need her skills right now. As a matter of fact, I'm doubled up on a couple of things. For instance, Perception and Smartass, both of these skills, which I was actually kind of disappointed about because, like, man, I've wasted skill points on other characters. But it's actually going to work out okay for me because I'm going to remove her from the group temporarily. Uh, well, temporarily, probably for the rest of the time that we're uh, in the first part of the game, which takes place in Arizona. When we go to the second location... Uh, then I'll start utilizing her more. Um, but right before we leave Arizona, I'll start using her again. But until then, we're better off picking up uh, Tack. Now, where is Tack? He should be in here. There he is. You're back. Can yes. I be your bodyguard again? Yes, you may. Okay, so we will uh, dismiss Piz. And accept Great. attack. Let's go. And Your why? Your keeps looking at me. Or perhaps you, you don't eat mutants here, do you? For starters, he's got you know six demolitions, which we you know sort of kind of need. That should work. And he can carry a ton of stuff, which is also you know relatively nice. Okay, still got his gear. Let's pick up some demolition stuff for him. Yeah, a couple of these, and some grenades. Okay, and what else do we need? Should he carry a rocket too, just in case? Seems kind of unnecessary. Then he'll be able to carry- he won't be able to carry as much either. Okay, you're burdened because you've got too much- well, you don't need to carry around 400 ammo. Here. Put that in there. Uh, oh, and I picked up her inventory. Right. Okay, well then, put the energy cells in the locker. Oh, Grey's Anatomy. He gave us a... That's a medical book, right? So, I'm guessing plus one surgery or plus one field medic? Not sure. We'll hold on to it, though. All the books will hold on till, till much later. Okay, so... And I think I explained that before. It's because it's going to give you a plus one skill... You'd rather that skill be, you know, from an 8 to a 9, or 9 to a 10, not from, like, a 2 to a 3. Because it's worth a lot more points at the at the end of the skill tree versus the front, right? Okay, now, uh, let's go talk to Vargas, because it would appear that Tack can be promoted as well. Welcome back to the you got your Echo, congratulations. Make us proud, recruits. Hey, okay. General. How's the leg? Fine, Angie. Hope you're feeling better. It comes and goes, Snake. You know. Yeah, I do. Okay, so let's head outside, and then we're going to level up, and then we're going to head back out. My question is, where? Uh, you know, I'm not sure. I'm thinking we could head towards the prison, start doing that area. Yeah, I don't see why not. We're, we can certainly handle it combat-wise. We have the skills. Okay, so let's take a look. Speaking of skills. Um, hmm. Hard ass of four? I guess. I'd much rather work on shotguns, actually. But we've been getting by, so... Okay, I'll grab... A four and hard ass, I guess. And I've got that perk that I'm holding on to, but that's for later. Not going to use it right now. Okay, three skill points. Uh, I'm not seeing anything we can do with that, so... Moving on. Six skill points. Right. Well, we don't really need you to increase demolitions, and in theory, we don't really need you to do more than the perception you have, so... We'll shift those duties over to Piz, who, you know, once we start utilizing her again, we'll, we'll we'll be keeping her in the group till the end of the game. So she can she can handle perception for us. But 
there are some areas in particular like the prison where there are minefields and whatnot and you need at least a six perception to see those so that would create a problem except I actually have a perception trinket so I'll just toss this on when I need it and we won't invest any more in perception on bear but he'll have enough skill essentially to get us through the first half of the game and then Piz can take over make sense so that means really sniper rifles and weaponsmithing is all we need to worry about on bear at this point Hmm. Let's take a look. What's that focus shooter do for us? Oh yeah, right. Under pressure penalty. I could care less about that. Yeah. It's not that great, I don't think. So, let's see, and we're not going to do the demolition related ones anymore because Tack's going to take care of that stuff. Hmm. Well, we have time to think about this, we don't have a perk available right now anyway, but let's see. Well, I, I could increase weaponsmithing. It does open up Deconstructor, actually. Um, which I was thinking about doing. Where's that at? Right here. Plus 25% more weapons parts when breaking down weapons. That's pretty significant. And, you know, you do make a lot of money off of that. I may do that. But for now, I think we'll just invest in sniper rifles. Ah, speaking of... So, I picked up this long barrel in one of those safes back in Darwin. So now, this weapon has a 39 meter range, which is ridiculously good. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty sweet. And then I also got a nice new trinket, which I gave to Christy. This PDA, plus one mechanical repair, plus one computer science. Yeah, pretty nice, right? Okay, so let's see. What are we gonna do for her skill-wise? Well, I mean... Hmm, I think I might let these float, actually. Y yeah I think I am. Okay, Angela has three skill points, and I don't think anything we want to purchase. No. Okay, Rose has 15 skill points. Okay. Um, hmm. Well, I guess we could do... Uh... I mean... I guess we can invest more in handguns for her. Sure. Why not? We can start using her to debuff targets. She does have a perk available. What's Bandit give us? 4% chance attacks with handguns will not use any action points. 4%? Um... Okay, what does that lead to then? Bandit... Gunslinger... Desperado. Okay, so let's see. Let's take a look at Desperado. Free attack with handguns increased to 12%. Requires not- oh, I see, and they build on each other. Right, so then Gunslinger is the inner immediate one that you have to do. So at the top end, if you invest three perk choices, you get a 12% chance of a free attack. So, what, 1 in 10 shots is going to be a free action, and it's a 2-point or 3-point cost to fire anyway? That's not even remotely a good use of, of perks, in my opinion. Okay, so, what will we do with her? We could do Roboticist, so she does extra damage to robots and sense, but she's not about doing damage. She's about debuffing targets with her low AP shots. So, I think instead, uh, we're going to look for something that's more useful. I think I'm just going to take Smooth Operator, plus 20% healed when reviving down members. That's useful. Let's grab that. Okay, and let's head out. Now, as a reminder, as I am, um, you know, discovering, I mean, I know where they are anyway, but as I'm discovering where shrines are, because we've got this one here, we've got this one right here, we've got one down here, so on and so forth, one over here. Um, I will be visiting all these shrines. It'll be one of the last things I do before we leave this area. 
um, because you want to make sure that the, the, the team that you will be utilizing ultimately for the back half of the game, that they benefit from the shrines, right? So that's why I hold off on doing that. Uh, let's see. So the prison or the abandoned railway? I guess we'll just head that, that direction in general, right? Looks like a traveling vendor. Okay, investigate. Wonder who it'll be. One of the traveling vendors actually um, gets all mouthy with you if you don't buy anything, and then he ends up attacking you, which is actually kind of good um, because even the NPCs in the group that would otherwise like not be happy with you if you killed, like, you know, quote-unquote innocent, they don't care because that guy's a jerk and attacks us. No, nope, this is a regular vendor, it looks like. Okay, well, let's see. Put our plus one barter on. What you got? Hatchet. Is that better than what Tack has? Oh, yes it is. Well, hmm. Y yeah, I think ultimately it is better. Maze Blaster. Uh, let's see. You know what? Give me, um... How much is that wolf paw? I'll take that wolf paw. I know what you're thinking. Like, why does he want the wolf paw? Just trust me. We need some meat to feed our little green buddy. Do we want that hatchet? I, I guess so. I mean, we have the money. And did I, did I not do his skills? Oh, he's only got two points, right, okay, that's why. Okay, so, uh, pass those over here. Let's strip the mod off of here. Remove the grip tape. Was destroyed, what? Ah. Uh, well, I have more grip tape back at the base, so I guess that's okay. Okay, so let's see. Candy? Yep, candy. Just talk to him and say give. Candy, candy, candy. Then he's all happy. <laughs> you just have to feed him every once in a while. Actually, I don't know that he ever leaves. I just always do feed him because, I don't know, because I like him. I mean, come on, he's so awesome. I mean, look, he's got, what, 8,000 hit points? He's walking around with his little, um, his little toy, little whatever, little bunny man or whatever he's got. Come on, he's cool. Okay, so let's see. Let's switch back to the leadership trinket. Okay, there we go. And off we go. Okay, fill that up. Oh, dangerous raiders, all right. Come on, dangerous raiders. Come to me. It is the only way for me to take your stuff. <laughs> okay, let's see. Where? Where are you hiding? Over here? You hiding from us? Yes, you were hiding. Alright, let's see. Goodbye. Goodbye. Shh. 
should have the range for that shot. Yep. Back attack. Nice. Just move into cover, I guess. There's one more guy. Not that I'm really anticipating an issue. Yeah, he's gonna die right here. Peace. Very dangerous. Very dangerous raiders. Bullets. Okay, go up there, see what that guy's got. Alright, just pick those up then. And let's see, move these bullets over to Eve. Flag everybody and let's go. It's a quick, easy 100 XP. Really? Really dangerous raiders? We're just gonna run from these guys. It's not worth our time. It's really not. I guess it is, but I'd rather get over to the prison. Now, just as a reminder, what led us to the prison was that the people here had additional information about how to get to Demonta. Now remember, that's where we're trying to get. Find a way to reach Demonta off in the east, past the radiation clouds, to set up the second radio repeater. And, and there's supposedly people here that know all about that, right? Questionable, okay, whether or not they really have any real knowledge, but it doesn't matter. It's XP. That's what we're going to do. So... This pre-recorded message is brought to you by RSM Enterprises, Inc. The Arizona Waste is a harsh and unforgiving place. With Desert Ranger patrols few and far between these days, it's no surprise many families are wondering where they can find safety and security. Well, look no further. Happy Valley is the answer to your prayers. Formerly the Arizona State Maximum Security Prison, but now an attractive community managed by the folks at RSM Enterprises, Inc. You won't believe how safe you feel nestled within the sheltering borders of Happy Valley. With 24-hour canine security patrols and our Circle of Wagons street plan, you'll never need to worry about being alone or unprotected again. Now, here's our Commander Danforth, founder of RSM Enterprises with a personal welcome to all potential Happy Valley homesteaders. Hey, hey folks, don't let those damn rangers tell you otherwise. Happy Valley is the safest place in the waste, so get your lock quick before they're gone. You, you shouldn't say damn, it's a sales pitch. Aw, oh, hell, sorry. It's fine, it's fine, next time. Okay, so as all that spiel that just came out of the microphones indicated, the Red Scorpion Militia has taken over this area. I think I had mentioned that before. And they have been, you know, sort of recruiting people to come in and they sort of, they sell them a bill of goods, basically. They they get land and they're, and they're quote-unquote protected, but then um, all cash has been replaced with, you know, like script they use here that's only good here. Um, and... They don't pay very much, and these people can never get out of debt, so essentially everybody be becomes an indentured servant. Uh, so it's kind of an unfortunate situation. So as we're going through here, there'll be various people that we can choose to help out if we want. Oh, what happened to this guy? Uh, he's got the brochure. Air attack's gonna carry all our junk for us. Uh huh. This guy needs a hand. Let's help him out. Oh yeah. Uh, this guy. Actually, you see him again later too if you help him out. I'm trying to remember if he gives us. I think he gives us a deal on stuff if we help him out. So let's do it. Just go here. Use brute force on his cart. Ah. 
Wonderful. Want to trade anything before I leave? Yes, we do, actually. I, actually, I don't know that it makes any difference, but we'll see what he has. Chill out, goat. Returning to the prison must be the end of the world. What can you tell us about it? I'd stay away from the prison if I were you. Got gun turrets up in there, like Kitty on sight. How can we help? I'm good now, thanks. Yeah, yeah, see anything notable in the waist? Uh, I've watched this place. Yep, 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 okay. Chill out, goat! Good lord. Oh, a shrine! Okay, cool, he gave us another location. Awesome. Alright, let's trade. What you got for us? Midnight special... Not better than what she has, right? The Makarov's better? No, the Midnight Special's better. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a little bit. Well, maybe we will buy that then. Lightweights definitely want that. Yep, we'll take that for sure. Quick mag. Uh... I can't install it yet, but I might go ahead and buy it? I think I will. It's pretty nice. Don't need this. Don't need the pickaxe. I think we're good otherwise. Open choke. Plus 10 cone angle. Nah, I don't, I don't need that right now. Let's go ahead and grab that midnight special. All right. Goodbye. What's your problem, goat? Take it easy. Take it easy, man. Getting all worked up for nothing. Who did that go? Where did the gun go to? I thought I bought it. Okay, I did. I just missed it. Okay, so let's swap. Okay, that pistol's not modified. Let's grab... Well, this hatchet's gonna be really nice when I get back and I can put grip tape on it. Yeah, okay. Grab the lightweight. <coughs> Excuse me. Plus six percent chance to hit. Let's go ahead and attach that. Yeah, very nice. I like it. Alright. See ya, Fred. We'll see him again later on. Uh, I think we need higher perception over here. Where are you, Elroy? Oh, yeah, this lady's dying. Elroy, are you there? Yeah, and I think Elroy's not there. Elroy's looking for a cure for you, lady. No, uh, no mines, huh? Okay. Whew, only 26% to disarm. Okay, come here, Tack. That's your job, buddy. 92%, much better. Nice. Oh, locked. Okay. Oh, well, let's uh take care of that then. Okay, mobile phone. Here, just grab all that. Come over here. And Go there. Goes there. That goes to him. And you hold on to the junk. Okay. Take a look at the map. Let's farm. Okay, let's swing around here to the right. People hanging. 
So many abandoned farms. Okay, so we will talk to these people, deal with their little dilemma here, at the beginning of the next one. Yeah, so the prison will probably take us more than a few episodes to finish. The place is actually quite big, but it, there's some interesting stuff here, so I think that you'll enjoy it. And I hope that you enjoyed this one, and if you did, please consider hitting that thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, I am Mal, and I'll see you later.